What's up, everybody? It is Levon Kaysen here. You know, back at it again with another video. Hit that notification bell. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. When you hit that notification bell, you gotta hit all notifications. So that way you can be notified for future Levon Kaysen videos and future Levon Kaysen live stream and this is gonna be my experience with xbox one x you know i've owned it for about what pretty much eight months so let's talk about my experience with it and all that other stuff and it has been a blast nothing more nothing less it's been a pretty fun system i mean it has features i mean it has you know a little bit more features in the playstation 4 i mean heck you even use your webcam on your xbox one x you can there's an application on there that allows you to you know pretty much use a webcam on your xbox one x and it's pretty cool you can also stream on twitch or mixer you know that's a cool feature and the backwards compatibility that's one of the biggest reasons right there of what keeps me you know playing the xbox one x more than the playstation 4 it's the fact that that i have access to Xbox games and Xbox 360 games. Whereas with the PS4, you only got access to, you know, PlayStation 4 games. I mean, you can play a little bit of PlayStation 2 classics on the PlayStation 4 and also to use, you know, PlayStation Now to play PS3 games through streaming, I guess, but I'm not really interested into PlayStation Now like that, to be honest with you. Nothing more, nothing last as far as me using game pass go you know i never really care for game pass like that reason being because if i want to buy a game i would just wait for the game to be cheaper you know get it through a sale because i want some type of ownership of that game game pass you don't really get ownership it is basically like renting games it's basically like netflix you know games can get taken off out of the game pass service and new games get put in so for me game pass is a no-go it works for people that you know want a whole bunch of games to try out but for me it just doesn't work out to be honest with you it really does not work out now as far as play multiplats on the xbox one x it's been pretty fun it's been pretty great i've been enjoying it in fact i was just you know playing crash bandicoot insane trilogy on the xbox one x and it was fun it was very very fun it looked a little bit better just a little bit better but overall it's pretty much the same experience that you'll have with the playstation 4. the biggest problem with the xbox is pretty much when you think about it, the lack of exclusive because really if you really think about it xbox you know actually has pretty much kind of the best gaming system when it comes to features and you know services when you really really think about it i mean you got backwards compatibility you can stream on twitch and mixer you do got game pass which which allows you to you know try a bunch of games for a dollar <laughs> and you also got other features you know like i said you, there's an application out there that allows you to use your you know Logitech webcam on your Xbox One X. There's also other applications such as, you know, VLC media player and stuff like that. So in that sense, you know, when it comes to features, Xbox has that down pat. When it comes to exclusive games though, that's where the Xbox struggles at, is the exclusive game. Now yes, I've been enjoying the multi-plats and the backwards compatibility, but I haven't really been in a rush like that to try out the Xbox exclusive yet exclusives i haven't really been you know in a rush to and a couple of the games look interesting such as you know recall rise sunset overdrive but maybe gears a little bit maybe maybe but everything else and, and maybe even super's lucky still maybe but everything else is kind of meh i could 
care less about, to be honest with you. If Microsoft, you know, has those exclusives, because, you know, they're not doing the whole console only exclusive anymore if they have you know good exclusives for their microsoft platform then there might then they might go somewhere because they already have the features down pat they already have the power they already have the third party support they just need some banging exclusives nothing more nothing less so honestly when you really think about it is the Xbox One X the worst system of all time? Heck no. But as far as ex exclusives concerned, it needs work. It really does need work. They need to, you know, have some more interesting exclusives besides Halo and Forza. They really do. Heck, maybe even bring back, you know, Banjo-Kazooie or, you know, Conker's Bad Fur Day, a real Conker's Bad Fur for a sequel. Maybe bring those games back. That's just a suggestion, by the way, Microsoft. They're doing good in some aspects, but that exclusive aspect is killing them. But that's all I have to say with the Xbox One X. Is it the worst system? No. It's a very, very good system, but the main problem is, is the exclusive. That's all I have to say. Hit that notification bell. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. When you hit that notification bell, you gotta hit all notifications. So that way you can be notified for future live on case and videos and future live on case and live streams. See you guys later and peace.